Hey, what's up guys, how's it going? My name is Alex Bendagna from La Santa Cecilia and I'm here to share with you the technique of the week, major pentatonic scales. Major pentatonic scales, what are they? You know, do we need them? Are they useful? And the answer to that is yes, super useful. I mean, you can hear them in all different styles of music, you know, um, guitar players use them, bass players, all instrumentalists. I mean, it's such an important universal scale. And once you have it under your fingers, it's like your best friend. And it comes from really the major scale. So if you know your major scale, you're kind of 95% there in getting your pentatonic going, you know? So let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's start with G major, right? You know, G major has one sharp, F sharp. So if we play the seven notes in the major scale, like G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, these are, you know, part of the major scale, right? If I omit two of those notes, the fourth and the seventh, the C and the F sharp here, which is basically this tritone kind of eerie sound. If we take those out of the major scale, now we're left with G, A, B, D, and E, right? We're left with five notes of a scale, right? And penta refers to five notes, hence uh, scale is a group of notes. So we have these five notes that sound like this. And I mean, I'm sure we've heard that in like a blues a tune or any other, you know, tune. It's like super universal. Um, so the way I like to practice this stuff, any kind of scale or any material, right? It's kind of, I like to run it like in every key, all 12 keys, just because you never know Somebody calls a tune, you know, out in C flat or whatever, F sharp, or who knows, man. And you just gotta be prepared for whatever, you know? So I like to run scales in like, in all different keys, you know? So I'll start by doing, you know, the pentatonic in G major, right? And you notice a shape right there, right? And then I go up to a fourth to C, and that'll be the root of my chord now. And I do the same thing. If you notice, there's a pattern. G pentatonic and then C are very similar in the pattern, right? And then I'll go up a fourth, but you know, over here I can't get to that same pattern. I can't complete the pattern because I don't have enough string. So I'll take it down an octave and start on this F instead on the first fret and I'll create the pentatonic there, the major pentatonic. And this is another pattern right there. And I'll go up a fourth to B flat. E flat. And then A flat, I can just get like the first three notes, right? I don't have another string or whatever, so I'll just drop down an octave and this time I'll use my pinky. I use my pinky to kind of like play the pentatonic scale. A flat, you know. So you can think about it as one, two, three, the fifth, and then the sixth, right? And then I'll go up a fourth. Same pattern. Then I'll, you know, F sharp has the same thing, so I don't have enough string, so I'll go down an octave to F sharp. And it's kind of similar to the G here, but here in F sharp. Funny, fun fact about F sharp or G flat, you know, um, if you play all the black keys on a piano or keyboard, you know, you play them all like that in sequence, you're pretty much playing a pentatonic scale, a major pentatonic scale, G flat or F sharp. Moving on, we'll go into B, B natural here. And then we get to E, right? And now I'm at E, E. So I'm at that low, the lowest note on this bass, on this four string bass, right? E. And I'll uh, do a pentatonic there. E pentatonic, major pentatonic. So now I'm using this kind of like pattern with the open strings, right? Now I'll go to A now. Then D. Taking it, you know, taking that scale all over the, the, the 12 keys is like you learn the, how it lays on the bass, you learn, you learn the patterns, you know, and you kind of just play them in all 12 keys, which I think is super important. There's your major pentatonic scale. Explore it, have fun with it, you know, play it however you want it. So many great artists have interpreted it in such cool ways. All right, everybody, this has been your technique of the week. My name is Alex Bendania from La Santa Cecilia. And if you're looking for more tutorials like this, please visit us and check us out on Fender Play.
Thank you.